We just used five different techniques to make our door signs pop. And we'll show you how we did it right now. What is up? A welcome back. Do you like to do it, build it, or make it? So do we. We have a new video each week. This week, we're giving our door signs some glitz and glamour. We're gonna show you five ways to make your door signs pop. So a few weeks ago, we did five paint techniques. And this week we're gonna add on to that and we're gonna do five new techniques that'll make your signs sparkle and... Stand out. That's right, at the craft shows. You know, something shiny will always draw an eye to your craft booth. <laughs> Technique number one. Glitter. It's gotta be glitter. <laughs> glitter is a big accent in our workshops. Those that have been here at Christmas time, come back looking for glitter. Any kind of sparkle will catch your eye at the craft shows. Actually, technique number one is really spray paint because not only can you spray a little glitter accent on your sides, but you can also add some texture. This is textured clay, Raw which clay. We're, it's what it says, and it actually looks like sand. So it's a great option to give your sand a little dimension to it. We also have some texture spray that's gray, that's great for concrete for the pool version of this. So a little spray paint will add a lot of bling to your signs. We keep referencing it, but we haven't shown it. Here it is. Well, this is it without glitter, which is nice and it's super good. cute. It's all right. But let me show you what glitter can do. So we're going to use the same paint technique on the backer and it's the accent pieces, except for the backer, we're going to come in with a little bit of blue glitter and a little bit of this sparkling water glitter and just layer the glitter on top of each other. Just a dusting. For the bottom piece here, we're gonna use this raw clay and then a dusting of glitter. Just a dust. If I can keep him to a dust, once he gets going with the glitter, everything's got glitter. <laughs> Babe, that's for Kim and Garrett after dark. I don't know if you can tell, but this one really sparkles. It definitely shines way brighter than this one. Yeah, when you have this hanging on your door, that sunlight's gonna hit it, give it that extra pop. And like I said, I'm telling you, glitter sells. <laughs> that sunlight hits it, it might blind someone. Technique number two, deep engraves to give it that 3D dimension, breaking down barriers. <laughs> This one is using your, um, I guess this is what, this is engraving. Mm -hmm. I always get engrave and score mixed up. Engraving. Doing that deep engrave, normally when we paint things like your shiplap, you're trying to keep paint out of the engrave marks. But for this technique, we're gonna do pool tiles. So this is the pool version of the beach version of the sign you just saw. This is the pool version and it includes tiles. So we're gonna push that paint down in here. We're gonna do a first coat in white and push it down in the engraved marks. It's gonna look like grout. And then we're gonna come back when it dries and put a very light coat on top in this blue and it's gonna look like it's sitting on top. So they're gonna look like individual tiles. So, so we're gonna push the paint down in there. That's right. We're, we're gonna, gonna push go. it real good. Yes, push it real good, Garrett. And I think with this piece, you don't need to worry about the edges. Uh, some of the reasons you don't push hard is to try to keep those edges clean. But this specific piece will be sandwiched between two other pieces of MDF. I know, it goes against everything that we normally do. It's killing me to push this hard and squeeze that paint down in there. Oh, is this Kim and Garrett after dark? Do I need to do it again? I think I need one more coat, do you? All 
Alright, so we did go ahead and use two coats because that engraves sometimes it'll soak up the paint. We have the paint deep in the grooves and then we have the grooves in our hearts. <laughs> now we're going to lightly put the blue over top. Alright, just, I already did that. Don't get oh. crazy. Sorry. I was preparing for you. Oh, this one's thanks. got a little clump of something in it. Yes. Right? A little clumpish. A little clumpish. Right, I'm going to be gentle. Oh, please tell me you have a light. I have a light touch. Yeah. Coming in with that slow hand. <laughs> so the trick with this one is just be very light, very little paint on your roller. You want that thing to be pretty dry and then a light touch. You're doing great. You're doing great. And this works way better with the roller than it does with the makeup sponges. I actually like how it looks a little... Like this pool's been used for a while? Like worn through, yeah. <laughs> I think it adds some even more dimension to it. Maybe you need a little more paint. Oh. I feel like you're starting to press harder to get more coverage. I was subconsciously pressing hard. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Nice even. Yeah, I don't mind if it's like blotchy like that either. Yeah, I think that's I what you were like saying. It, yeah. Almost looks like there's uh, real pool tiles. A little bit of white showing through. Alright, what do you think? Keep rolling until I hear what you think. I think keep going. You're okay. almost there. Tell me when. I think that's good. So look how cool that is. Let's show this camera. Now we're going to add this to our sign. So the sign is almost done. We use that texture paint on this one as well. We did this, because this is a pool version, we did this one in the gray texture paint to make it look like concrete. Yeah, so not cement, like concrete. Oh yeah, which, was, which one was it? We learned that lesson. Yeah, when we were trying to make the uh, concrete, or cement, when we were trying to make the cement vases for the succulents. Yeah, well, so we're trying to make it look like cement, not concrete, right? Yes, no, concrete. Not cement. Concrete because it's got rocks in it. It's got an aggregate in it. See the little, little rocks? Oh, oh, okay. Oh, I've got it upside down. Woo! Woo! Get loose! Look at that. That's so cool! And now we're no, not... I like this guy right I there. think we're going to wait. Now we're, we're going to... We have another technique coming up. And we're going to add this little snorkel onto the pool version. And, but we're going to use another paint technique. So this one's getting glitter. It's getting... 3D engraved. Yes. It's, it's getting, getting texture. Texture. And This next. sign's got everything. <laughs> Might not have to use them all, but man, is this thing going to pop. Technique number three. A pattern or a printed image. This could be sublimation, Mod Podge. We love DTF, so that's what we're going to use. We got two versions of a leopard print here. Garrett is going to put his leopard print on top of, well, this, this one, yeah, the raw on one. Black backer. And then I am going to DTF my whole backer. Well, not the whole backer. I'm actually going to do, gonna do our half DTF, back. Yeah, my DTF printer is only 13 inches wide and we're using 16 inch backers but if you were to do a desktop standard you could do the whole backer yeah. so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go half backer and then I'm going to put a black high on mine so two versions let's go press these and see right. how they look press them, press them if you got them <laughs>
Here they are, all finished. DTF on, little pattern, little print. This is perfect for those signs that you can't 3D or it's hard to do 3D or you really just want to add a really busy pattern to the back of it and you don't want to paint every piece of it. <laughs> yeah. um, this adds another extra layer of pop to your signs. Yeah. I think they look great. I think so too. You can always do like a gradient or an ombre also. Yeah, yeah. Something that's, that's a good one. Something that's hard to paint. Right here, you got, you got yourself a DTF or a print transfer. All right, but that's not it. Technique number four, fake it till you make it, or make it fake. Or fake make it. Fake make it. There's a lot of fakes Make it and fake. Makes. I don't know. Fake it make. Fake it make. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to do some faux wood grain, some fake wood grain. We're going to take a board that we've already stained, give it a quick coat of some white so that it'll look whitewashed, and then use this little faux tool here, this faux wood grain making tool, and we're going to drag it across quickly while we're rocking our wrist back and forth. Going to keep this paint wet, which is why I'm doing this now. It's a new technique. Yeah, Garrett's just winging this. Just I've winging already it. I've already been on this, but he's like, "Now I got this." Yeah. I I've, I've seen a quick commercial on Amazon. I'm good to go. Yeah. All right, let's see what you got. Let's see how you do. All right, we're ready. Should I start at the bottom and work my way up or make my mistake at the top and work my way down? Yeah. That's how I'm going to do it. Okay. Don't you want to go this way? Okay. Oh my gosh. Wow, you did a great job, first try. All right. I'm, I'm impressed. Down. Okay, yeah, keep going. Well, it's hard to get it level. Nope, just go, go, yeah, mm hmm All right. There you go, I'm going to press a little harder, huh? Yeah, well, you're starting to fill up with paint, huh? Yeah, I'm just going to okay. roll it off over here. That looks so cool. Now it's starting to dry. Let me add a little more paint down there. I'm going to do it real quick. Whoa, took the whole board. Yeah, add paint. You add paint and I'll wipe this off. Maybe. I don't have any Here, just use another there. one. We have the little guy. All right, Try that. I'll come in with the little guy. Different size plank. Oh, it dries quick. Yeah, but it looks good. Still looks good. Keep going. Get the bottom a little bit. So we'll put this kit in our, st in our Amazon store and you can go get this. It's a whole kit. It comes with both of the scraper here. Do you want to add a little bit more at the bottom? It's pretty Clean dry. Scraper. Want me to add a little more paint or no? No. Here's okay. what we're going to do. I brought a second one. Well, that looks so good. Look. Look. Okay. First try. Look how great that looks. I mean, that looks awesome. This time, no fooling around. I'm coming right in, right behind you. So this kit comes with a set of the red ones, which look exactly like the black ones. I don't yeah. really see a difference. There's a set the of the red, a set of the black, a large and a small. Uh, one feels a little softer. Red oh. feels a little softer. Okay, you can try that this time. Yeah. This blue handle does the same thing. Um, it comes with a paint can opener. A whole shebang. Oh, and a roller. I've got a cool roller. We can try that one too. I it fell off the table over there. Alright. Well, you really wanna work quick. Okay. Okay. Alright. Uh -huh. I might even come in double handed. Go, okay. Oh wow, you're really scraping that thing right off. Don't forget to rock. Oh my goodness! I am so impressed. Wow! Look at that! All right, that was easy. It just took a couple of minutes, too. I mean, yeah, that's pretty good. Cool. Hey, let me hit that edge over here. Right here. Just gonna... Here, maybe like the end of this or 
Here, what are these guys? Like the back side. Oh, that's pretty dry already. Don't, just leave it alone. Right, I'll just leave it, yeah. But that was it, first, second try. So it's a fairly easy technique. Yeah, look at that. I'm pretty, pretty impressed with myself. All right, well, we'll let that dry and then we'll put the, this is gonna be a monogram. I'll put the monogram right on there. But while we're waiting, let me do another one and you can try the roller, All right. which I dropped. Drop and roll. Stop, drop, and roller. Yeah. Real time. Here we are. Real time. Or this thing. Which, which one do you think is better? I'm going to try the roller. Just going to give it a see. See how it goes. Now, I do the same thing. I'm going to try to squeegee it off. Is that what's happening? I don't no. roll it on. No, this one just leaves a track in the paint. Oh, okay. All right. All right. So we pre-stained our backers. They're dry. And... Now we're just adding paints. Yeah, start definitely on the end. Okay, that's pretty cool. You can't overlap with this one. Oh yeah, you can't. I just figured that out. Use the shiplap as a guide. All right, not bad. That was also super easy. Yeah, don't overlap, you can tell. But yeah. yeah. I mean, I don't know. Us. This might have been easier. Like, I didn't even need any technique in my wrist. <laughs> just pushed pretty hard. That was it. So oh, with the other, you cool. just rolled forward, came back and dragged, rolled forward, yeah. came back and, and dragged. I, I tried to keep it random. As All random right. as I could be. Love that. Okay, so let's hold up the other one. All right. Both of them. We can do both of them because they both look good. Oh, they almost dry already. already. We'll put this one in front. This one looks better. Yeah, look at that. So I know this is a paint technique, but it still adds some pop. Yeah, it's still a way to add some dimension to your board, especially if you're using just MDF. A little bit of stain, a little bit of white paint, and one of these squeegee things. Shoo! 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 Now let's add the rest of it That's on hot. there and see what that looks like. Yeah. Where am I going to put this? I've got stuff everywhere. Seriously, I'm so impressed. I'm so impressed that he just went in first try. <laughs> I had tried to get him to do it earlier. I said, look, you do this with me. This is what I think. And he goes, nah, I got it. I, I know what to do. It's the old paint scrape technique. He's like, you can do it, I can do it. I watched a video once. Yeah, I watched the, yeah. Well, I watched the little commercial on Amazon. Didn't you say, I could even do brain brain surgery, I just need to watch a video a couple times. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, can't see. I'm helping. Oh, yeah. That part doesn't look dry. So yeah, it looks like a big... But I'm coming in. So, you probably couldn't see it, but there are still score marks on here. Yeah, you can still exactly see the score marks. Exactly where to place this. Oh my goodness. All right, well, you know what? I did bring a bow for that. So while we let that glue dry just a second, I could put the bow in the hanger on there. Look at that. Impressed. That one. And this kit is super affordable. We'll leave the link in the description. I think it was $16 or something. I, I mean, don't know. Worth seriously. It. Yeah. I mean, worth it. Whatever it was. <laughs> that was cool. <laughs> All I was right, skeptical. but that's not it. Yeah. We still have another one for you. We saved the best for last. Technique five. We're going to give them a quick shine. A little buffing. Actually, we're going to use some UV resin and we're going to use it in two ways. One, we're going to brush it on and then use the light to cure it. This is UV resin. And then another way, we're going to fill some things and then cure it. This is a quick and easy technique to add a little pop. So you just want to use a little bit here in a couple of key areas to give it that little something extra. And because it's UV, it 
dries and hardens within like 30 seconds. Yeah. So quick and easy. All right. You want to give me some and I'll spread it. All right. Might have to be on the stand. Might stand be ready. Where is the switch? It's on the cord. Oh, it's way down there. Yeah. Can you move this leg? All right. Spread it around. Spread it around the town. A little bit more, or are you good? I don't know what you think. You're just trying to add a little shine to this? Yeah. Because the three, the way these are cut already gives them their kind of 3D look. So now I want to make them look juicy. Oh, juicy cherries. All right, you like that? That's pretty good. I think it's still I heavy in the middle. More. Oh yeah, okay. brush it off. Yeah, brush it this way. Might have to do a little leveling like this. What do you think? Let's let it sit when we do the others. You want me to add some here? Yeah. Good thing we're not doing this outside. It gives me a little bit of time. That way time is on my side. Let's, it's at an angle, so let's leave this because I have the bow on that. There we go. Just flatten it out a little bit more. Five minutes later. Bam! Look at those. Those things that look so juicy. <laughs> Alright, let's do the other. Let's let's do the snorkel. Now we're gonna fill the little lens of this little snorkel. So here's our pool sign, and this one instead of a starfish is gonna get a little snorkel on it. And we're gonna add so what are we going to do, the clear resin, or are we going to add a little mica powder? I don't know what you think. You think the mica powder will help it I pop? mean, yeah, let's give it a try. Might let's as well. Give it a little Might as well. We're here. Let's do it. All right. Are we going to stir it in it? Are we going to stir it in it? Okay. Or do you want to stir it in here? No, let's go ahead and stir it in it. I'll give it All a little right. scoop. You know us. Winging it. Winging it. All right. I think that's it? I think that's it. Alright. So you know that's a little yeah, we only need a little bit. Just a little bump. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Alright, do it out here so the cameras can really see. Stir it around here. Yeah. Here you want those? Now we have tried a full sign in resin, but that took forever to dry and cure. And we, then- We tried it twice. Yes. Once with Jesse's, um, um, uh, what is he? A travel agent travel sign. sign yeah. And that one looked great. It did take forever to cure, but it looked great when it was done. And then we did it one other time with a lemonade um, jar, a mason jar sign with a straw on it, but that one also took a to cure, but didn't it, didn't ultimately look great. That looks pretty so, cool, right? I think just, yeah, that really looks like you're in the water. Yeah. All right, let's cure it. Okay. Five minutes later. They're really close. Really, 
really making sure you're getting that blue light. This light is uh, far-sighted. All right, time's up. Oh yeah. It feels hard. Yeah, looks cool. All right, you want to glue it down? Yeah. It's there. It's red. It's resin. No, it wiped off. Oh. Okay. When you look at this, the border of the tile, go just like to this way. Thing. Yeah. Like that. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, that's suddenly went like there. It's there now. I think we used almost every technique on this sign. We <laughs> used the glitter for the water. We used the deep engrave for the pool tile. We used the textured spray paint at the bottom. And then we put some uh, UV resin inside the snorkel. So the only thing we didn't do is a little wood grain. Maybe we'll put some wood grain on the back just to uh, yeah. <laughs> make sure we use them all. Out of the five techniques that we did today, what is your favorite technique that we did? Or do you have a technique that we should try? Because we're always looking for a new way to make these door signs pop. Or is there a technique that you're going to try? Let me know. I yeah, know. which of these are you going to do? I, yeah. I'm certain it is this. Now, if you do the wood, wood grain, grain, let me see how it did. <laughs> let me know how many tries it took because yeah. it was easy. <laughs> All right, well, we're about out of time. So if you're not going to join us for the patron after show, we will see you next week where we'll do it, build it, and make it again. And we will see you on Tuesday where we usually do something like this. We paint something, do a little test cut, this see week, how it goes. This week we got Taco Tuesday coming oh, up. Taco Tuesday is coming up. Oh, and it's on a Tuesday. It's Test Cut Taco Tuesday Live. I'm in. Oh, man. Ooh, that resin made a little heavy on one side. <laughs>